I'm Debbie Otis. I'm a graduate student in the Chemical Engineering Department at UC Santa Barbara, and I'll be teaching a class called Molecules in Motion Using Simulations to Understand Reality as part of the School for Scientific Thought. So what are simulations? I'm sure you can think of a couple examples. Here's one. We have an astronaut that's simulating what it's like to be in outer space by working in a giant pool. So what are simulations? Simulations are just representations of reality without actually being reality. And in this class, we're going to simulate molecules using computers. So why should we look at molecules? Well, molecules are all around us. The nitrogen and oxygen in the air we breathe, the water we drink, even when we go for a walk on the beach. Not only are they all around us, they're also within us. We're made of molecules. And we can ask questions about these molecules. Like, how does water move through a cell's membrane in the kidney cell, for example? And then we can simulate what this looks like, where we have water, these red and white molecules moving from the top, which is outside of the cell, to the bottom, which is the inside of the cell. And we can even label one of these molecules yellow in order to see exactly where it's moving. And it's moving through this protein that's embedded in the cell membrane. And this work here was part of the work that won the 2003 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. So, why should we look at molecular simulation? Why don't we just go into a lab and run some experiments? Well, sometimes we can learn more by looking at representations of molecule, like the representation of DNA here, where we can see all of the atoms. Simulations allow us to switch up part of the molecule and see what happens. Does it change the structure? Does it change the function of the molecule? And what type of effects does this have? And this is something that we can do a little bit easier than can be done experimentally. So what do we expect to learn about in this class? We'll look at three-dimensional representations of molecules, such as this molecule here, hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is a molecule that helps transport oxygen from our lungs to the rest of our body. And we'll look at this molecule by zooming in and zooming out on it and rotating around and seeing what it looks like. We'll also learn why we draw molecules like this in such a strange, cartoonish way and what they mean. Not only will we look at these three-dimensional representations of molecules, we'll also run molecular simulations. We'll do things such as this, where we react um, oxygen with carbon monoxide, like is done in the exhaust of our cars. And we'll see what happens when we do this. But don't worry if you've never had any programming experience. You'll learn everything you need to know during the class. We'll also take a look at computers, the things that we're using to run these simulations. And when we put a whole bunch of computers together for simulations, we get something that we call a cluster. And we're going to take a tour of the cluster at the California Nanosystems Institute here at UCSB. And this is where I run some of my simulations to explore the world around me. So come on out and learn more about molecules in motion. Thank you.